Today marks the rollout of the new $50 banknote, slowly replacing the $700 million already in circulation. The faces of social change campaigners, Aboriginal writer David Unipon and Australia's first female member of parliament, Edith Cowan, remain on the new $50 note, but there are some distinct changes similar to the recent upgrades to the $5 and $10 notes. The new $50 note has a floor-to-ceiling clear window. There are four raised dots to assist the visually impaired, along with improved security features like changing colours and movement. These are security features which are very difficult for counterfeiters to replicate. Australia's counterfeit rates are low. If you had 60,000 notes in your wallet or your purse, you might expect one of those to be a counterfeit. But complacency is the enemy. The wattle is featured on the new $50 banknote. 250 million of them have been printed and consumers should start to see them in the next couple of weeks. More will be produced over time, updating Australia's most widely used banknote. The $50 note is the one that hits the sweet spot for Australians. While cash is now used in under 40% of transactions, it still plays a role in the economy. It's an important means of payment in the event that electronic methods of payment aren't available or they fail. NAB says the average Australian carries $76 in their purses or wallets over a week, with three in four people using cash when and purchasing goods less than $5. That a whole emotion of cash is really still there. There are still some really strong cultural reasons and social reasons why people want to carry cash. And the RBA says the most likely way to find the new $50 note right now is at an ATM.